There's a master plan community in the United States that everybody seems to be gaga for, especially those people who are calling me. They're looking to get into this master plan community that is the number one multi-gen selling community in the US. And this place happens to be on the southwest side of Florida and it's called Lakewood Ranch. And so in today's video, we're going to kind of peel the layers away from Lakewood Ranch to better understand why so many people are really into wanting to live in this neighborhood. Now do me a favor, like this video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Katrin Fitzsnyder. I'm a real estate agent in Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Bradenton, and Venice. And we're gonna get right into this video. So let me start by saying that Lakewood Ranch is a master plan community that kind of acts like a city, but it's a community that falls within Manatee County and Sarasota County. It's not a city yet, but certainly acts like it. And that's because you find everything in Lakewood Ranch. There's a hospital, movie theater, lots to do in terms of shopping and entertainment, a lot of events that are being put on there. If you didn't want to leave Lakewood Ranch, you don't have to. But if you wanted to leave Lakewood Ranch, and I actually think that's one of the value propositions is that you could stay within this bubble, but if you wanted to get out of this bubble every now and then, to other places such as downtown Sarasota or the really amazing beaches that we have close by, it's right there, it's accessible, right? So downtown Sarasota is just gonna be about 20, 25 miles away, depending on where you live in Lake Ranch. And the Sarasota Anna Maria Island beaches are accessible as well, depending on where you would live in Lake Ranch, it might take 40 minutes to get to it, but it's an easy trek over the weekend or during a day off. Now, people who've never been to Lake Ranch, I accompany them, right? We go to all these different communities, mostly new construction communities. And so when I hear them talk, one of the first impressions that they're relaying back to me is that they just love the newness of Lake Ranch. They love how clean cut it is. It's also very green. So as you're driving through the streets of Lake Ranch, you'll see a lot of trees, very green, very lush parts of Lake Ranch. I think it's about 30% of Lake Ranch is actually dedicated towards preservation. So you're going to find a lot of open fields, a lot of parks, which is great for those people who are active, who like to bike or who like to jog. There's lots of trails, but also it gives you kind of that open feel to Lake Ranch and people just absolutely love it. I'm in Waterside Place in Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is the number one multi-generational master plan community in the United States. It's actually been named that over the last five years. There's no doubt that a lot of people love the Lakewood Ranch master plan community concept. We have a lot of people who are moving in here from all age groups. And that's actually one of the value propositions is that there truly is something for everyone here in Lakewood Ranch. So where is Lakewood Ranch? Lakewood Ranch is east of Highway 75 and either falls within Manatee County or Sarasota County. It's approximately 37 miles to St. Petersburg. It's approximately 52 miles to Tampa and then about 118 miles to Naples. I will say this that it's further away from the beaches so depending on where in Lakewood Ranch you're looking to move to you could be about 40 minutes to maybe even an hour away from a good beach. So I would say that the majority of the people who move into Lakewood Ranch Ranch aren't people who are going to want to go to the beach every day. Maybe they'll want to go to the beaches every now and then over the weekend and then don't mind to really travel to it. Lakewood Ranch is very much a self-contained community. So it's not a town. It's a community. It's census designated, but it feels like a town because you have everything around you from many options of shopping to a hospital. There's a movie theater. There's plenty of activities that Lakewood Ranch as a community puts on. And everybody I talk to basically says, you know, I don't really need to leave Lakewood Ranch unless truly I want to go to the beaches or maybe visit Tampa or St. Petersburg, or all these other amazing other travel destinations that we have in Florida. In a way, when you drive around Lakewood Ranch, it feels like you're in a bubble. It feels so different from all the other communities that are around Lakewood Ranch. It's just a very well manicured, very pretty place to live in. Most of the communities here are gonna be gated, but there's also non-gated options. 
Most of the communities are HOA communities. Let's talk about how old Lake Ranch is. It dates back to the 1990s. As a matter of fact, the first model home was opened around 1995. And so when Lake Ranch first started, if you look on this map here, this is Manatee County mainly. This is going to be Sarasota County and here's Highway 75. So the first communities really kind of started in this section here. So this is what I would call older Lake Ranch. Summerfield having been the very first community that started in 1995 and then it was followed by Edgewater down here, Country Club and then Riverwalk and then Greenbrook. This area here is the original Lake Ranch and then they started expanding to the north and south of it. Most new construction opportunities are going to be in the green so they're still selling. So lots going on here northern eastern side of Lake Ranch and then further south south of Waterside Place and the Lake Club is also still actively selling. So all of this is going to be new construction opportunities. Now having said all of that, let's talk about what actually makes Lake Ranch such an awesome place besides everything I've already mentioned. And I will say there's lots to do in terms of attractions. First off, Lake Ranch has three downtown centers, not one, not two, but three. The youngest, the newest addition to Lake Ranch is Waterside Place, which was opened over a year ago. The setting is right by a lake and there's just so much to do in terms of activities. They have Friday night music and the scenery is just gorgeous. So I'm Waterside Place, which opened up a little bit over a year ago. Not all tenants have moved in yet. So a lot of the restaurants that are planned for this area here are still not in place. But once it's in place, I would say that Waterside Place is because it's going to become the main downtown area for Lakewood Ranch. Certainly there's plenty of other places you can go to for restaurants and shopping, but this is going to become the main attraction because there's so much going to be happening here in the future. And all you have to do is go on the website and see what's planned. And yeah, and it's also a really pretty place to just chill out in. There's beautiful views right by the lake. There's also volleyball courts here. Lots of people just walking around, walking their dogs. downtown center as I know it in terms of going to eat and restaurants is Main Street and right around Main Street is where you're gonna find the movie theater as well. Every first Friday of the month they'll have music on Main so if you hear somebody saying hey there's music on Main it literally is on Main Street. And then lastly there's the Green at Lake Ranch which is going to be the town center that is going to be the closest to the villages that are on the northern part of Lakewood Ranch. If you wanted major shopping, Lakewood Ranch is essentially adjacent to UTC Mall area, University Town Center, which is just across Highway 75. And there's a lot, a lot of shopping right there. I mean, that's our premier shopping destination in Sarasota. And so Lakewood Ranch is not far away at all. And there's actually so much more to do in terms of shopping there. There's the Pope Stroke for miniature golfing. You've got the Nathan Benderson Park, right on a lake, lots to do in terms of biking around it, hiking around it. And the plan for Moat Aquarium is to move the aquarium from the Lido Key area to the Nathan Benderson Park. And so they're actually building the building and I believe it's gonna be opening up in 2025. So University Town Center is gonna be one of the major attractions in Sarasota and just Another reason to live in Lake Ranch, especially if you're somebody that's into shopping, you like to be close to shopping, then you're gonna be super close to University Town Center. Now people who move to Lake Ranch, who live there, really pride themselves about the fact that they're from Lake Ranch. Right? It's an exclusive neighborhood to live in. And so they tend to be much more of a tight-knit community. And I feel like the Lake Ranch community itself does a really good job at ensuring that that happens by putting together all of these different 
attractions, these different events throughout the year. So first off, if you're into polo matches, you're in the right place. As of 1991, there's polo events happen every Sunday, which are open for the public. It's from one to four o'clock. So the northern part of Lakewood Ranch is the premier sports campus and I can tell you this if I were a kid and I had that opportunity to go to that campus I would be so excited they have so many different soccer courts there it's kind of a dream almost if you're into soccer but it certainly isn't just about soccer so they host several different number of sports on a local state regional level and those include soccer of course lacrosse football field hockey, running, rugby, and really so much more. Now in downtown Waterside Place, there's lots happening in terms of activities as well. There's the Sunday's farmer's market. There are volleyball courts really close to kind of that main section of Waterside Place. And they host meetups, volleyball meetups. People can just join in. And then Friday night, there is live music. Now, for those of you with younger children, or maybe if you're somebody that's active and you love climbing, to the east of Lake Ranch is Triumph, which is kind of this elevated outdoor adventure park. Most of the new construction opportunities in Sarasota are going to be in Lake Ranch. There's gonna be some opportunities in Palma Ranch and kind of sprinkled around Sarasota. But if you're looking for new construction opportunities and having a variety of different communities to kind of choose from, then Lake Ranch is gonna be your best bet. Now there's a reason why Lake Ranch is the number one selling multi-gen master plan community in the United States. And that's because the area truly serves everybody it's a place that everybody can be happy in because it tailors towards all these different lifestyles let's just assume you're someone that's retired and you want to be specifically in a community that is 55 and up but you don't want to be isolated from the rest of the world that may be a little bit younger two are for 55 and up now if your son is on a tighter budget then there's opportunities, especially on the northeastern side of Lake Ranch, Star Farms, Azaria Park East, Lorraine Lakes, Sapphire Point are great, especially for those people who are looking for larger home sizes, two floors, maybe you have lots of kids running around the house and you want them to be on the second floor. Lots of opportunities under a million dollars. And I gotta tell you this, I mean, Lakewood Ranch is becoming much more of an expensive place to live in and it's not uncommon for homes to easily get into the million dollar range. But remember, the further northeast you get, a lot of times it will become more affordable. Further south you get, especially into kind of the water side place area becomes more expensive. But Windward by Neal Communities is actually a great opportunity because it's really close to water side place, but you're not paying the high ticket prices that you would typically pay in water side place. The beauty of looking at Lake Orange is that there's plenty of existing homes for sale as well. I will say also this, if you're somebody that's looking to purchase an existing home and then you want to bring it up to the level when it comes to renovations of a new construction home, you might actually also want to look at new construction because home improvement costs due to inflation, a shortage of labor, issues with supply management, it's gotten really expensive. And so in many cases, when I've done my analysis, there's either a break even point and in some cases, depending on the incentives that you know some of these new construction communities are giving you it might actually make even more sense to purchase a new construction opportunity now i will also say this with new construction opportunities the con is that it's not going to look as lush as some of the other communities and so if you're somebody that's now shopping in lakewood ranch if you don't have a preference for new construction or existing home that's great. Look at both opportunities. See which one you like better. Do you like new better? Do you like an existing home better? And then you start using a process of elimination to help you get to kind of the perfect setting that is going to make you happiest. If you're serious looking to purchase in a lake ranch, you've never been there before, make sure you spend 
quite a bit of time in Lake Ranch. I always tell people, give yourself at least two weeks, half of the time I would actually spend in just driving around, getting a feel for the Lake Ranch lifestyle, see where what is in relations to some of the communities that you've now feel are more interesting to you. Walk the streets of that community, bump into neighbors. Neighbors are always really good about giving you insider information. And I think there's nothing better than actually getting insider information. Also, if you're starting to shop for home, make sure you work with the bias agent. The bias agent is gonna provide you with a lot of value and your real estate agent is gonna help guide you. They're gonna provide you with neighborhood expertise. They're gonna help crunch some of the numbers, provide you with negotiation tactics. And then of course you have somebody that you're working with that you can balance ideas off of and they're providing you with feedback as well. And in general, you're not going to save any money if you don't have a bias agent representing you. And a good bias agent ultimately is gonna to wanna to make sure that if you make the purchase decision that ultimately you're gonna be happy in this new home. Now, if you're looking for help in Lake Ranch, I would love to be your realtor of choice. I work with buyers in new construction and existing listings all the time. I really know how to navigate it. Call me and email me anytime and we can kind of talk through it. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed it, like this video if you haven't thus far. Again, thank you and take care.